Uh, today we're here to announce the creation of the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute, and you're asking, well, well what the heck is that? Well, I'll tell you. Today it's uh, a vision of a few individuals like Dr. Christ and John Timmis and myself and others. Eventually it'll be a place, but I would say three things uh, that the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute, from my perspective, are about. The first is about hope and patient care. Uh, we're about providing the best possible quality uh, service and safety of patient care here at St. Vincent, and the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute is about doing that for neurosurgical care. So one, we're providing hope and care for patients that may not be able to find it elsewhere. The second piece is our national reputation. As we said, we've done neurosurgery since 1941 here at St. Vincent, but now we have some truly world-renowned neurosurgeons. Um, so we want to build a national reputation for neurosurgical care right here in Little Rock. And that leads to the third piece is I really think this has a lot to do with economic development for our state and our community. Really, this is an opportunity to draw people from the region, around the country, and literally around the world to Arkansas for care that can, you cannot get anywhere else. So sitting here today, we have a waiting list of patients from countries like Syria, Saudi Arabia, the Ukraine, Chile, Morocco, and Venezuela. These folks might not otherwise come to Little Rock, but they've got a reason to come here now, the Arkansas Neuros um, Neuroscience Institute. So we've got three individuals that are starting uh, uh, this institute with us. Um, two of them, which I'll talk about first and then I'll introduce the third, two of them are currently in surgery helping someone. Uh, the first is Dr. Osama El Mefti, uh, a world-renowned expert in meningioma and cordoma as well as skull-based surgery. Dr. Ian Dunn, who's uh, mentoring with Dr. El Mefti. Um, he's a Harvard-trained neurosurgeon, one of the brightest people you'll ever meet, Harvard undergrad, Harvard Medical School, Harvard Neurosurgical Training and he's learning skull-based surgery here, and really it's our hope that we can keep him in Little Rock after his year of training. And then the third person is Dr. Ali Christ, who's the, who I'll uh, hand the microphone over to a little bit, um, who's our director of the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute, really a, a national expert in acute stroke, vascular neurosurgery, and skull-based surgery. So those are our first three individuals in the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute. Really, we think there's more to come. We think there's opportunities to attract neurologists, uh, neuro-oncologists and additional neurosurgeons that will make Little Rock the hub for the country in neurosurgical care. So with that... Thank you, Peter, and uh, I think you kind of summed it up in uh, uh, some of the very uh, uh, effective few words that you mentioned, uh, starting with, uh, unfortunately, your uh, experience with your dad. There is no doubt there's a lot that uh, can and should be done to patients who have uh, uh, neurosurgical problems. There's a lot we don't know and uh, there's really uh, uh, a lot of work that we are hoping with this institute that we can achieve in the future. Uh, the, uh, the vision that we have is to establish an institute which covers the spectrum of neurosurgical diseases as well as neurological disease entities and uh, that uh, includes a uh, cerebrovascular a program which covers stroke and the treatment of aneurysms, which is very endemic to the state of Arkansas. I have seen a lot of patients with the uh, diagnosis of brain aneurysms. Uh, a neuro-oncology program, which deals with uh, brain tumors, and uh, especially that we have world expertise in the treatment of the complex skull-based lesions, uh, like my partner, Dr. Mefti, as well as uh, other disease entities like neuroendocrine disorders dealing with the pituitary gland, the uh, epilepsy surgery program. We have a very good collaboration with uh, Dr. Batong, one of the epileptologists here, uh, to uh, treat patients uh, with epilepsy, and this is in itself a very uh, uh, demanding and uh, very prevalent uh, disease entity as well as to deal with the problems related to movement disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, where surgical treatment can be done nowadays to patients with Parkinson's and other movement disorders, as well as uh, dealing with the problems related to the spine and the spinal cord, uh, tumors, and degenerative disorders, and other. So the scope of the institute is really very wide. Uh, 
as uh, Peter mentioned, we have a very strong NIDUS uh, nucleus that we are going to build on. Uh, we have decided, and our families decided, my daughter decided that this is home, so we're not going anywhere. And we're going to be here for. We're going to be here for a long time to come, and uh, we have a lot of energy we're going to put into this institute. Uh, as Peter mentioned, I have really a group of the brightest of the brightest of the country who are contacting us every day, and uh, they've expressed willingness to join to join us in this uh, uh, endeavor. In a way, um, I think uh, this is good for patients in Arkansas, for the citizens of Arkansas, uh, having more neurosurgical options in the state. I think it is uh, good for the future of the specialty. Uh, we have a uh, very well uh, established relationships at the national and international levels with a lot of colleagues who are, uh, are already kind of planning to visit with us uh, in the next few months. Uh, this will have also a, uh, an academic aspect to it, where we will continue our teaching. Uh, we will have fellows, visiting residents uh, from other countries and other uh, programs. Uh, we happen to be passionate educators that part of our uh, work will continue, as well as our research. And uh, we are, we're very excited to have this done here at St. Vincent because uh, with our history in, in academics, uh, and as passionate educators, we're always concerned what will happen to this side of our career when we move to uh, a more of a private practice environment. However, the support that was provided to us uh, from day one to continue with this academic side of our activities have been tremendous, and that was very attractive to us to to build our institute here with St. Vincent. So uh, I think this is a, an exciting time. We're going to put a lot of energy. Um, it's a time to, to uh, look uh, to a lot of achievements to come. I think uh, the, uh, we're going to depend on the community of Arkansas, like it has supported us over the years, to step up and uh, help build this vision which I'm sure everyone in this state will benefit from. Thank you.